Hey guys! Well, it has been quite a while since my last video and for those of you who have been waiting for a new one, I'm sorry that it's taken so long. I finally found a bit of time so I'm going to put a couple more together and have them posted uh, in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to start off with something fairly short and simple uh, just to kind of get me back into it. So, this is it. In this video, I'm just going to quickly show how to get rid of the felt marker off of the Nintendo carts. Now for those people who just enjoy playing the games, that felt marker there of course isn't going to affect your gameplay at all. You can just still plug this thing in and it'll work just fine. However, for a collector or a reseller, that little bit of marker there can really bring down the value of a cart. So it's good to try and get rid of as much of it as you can. So I've got a copy of Ice Hockey, which as you can see someone has kindly written J on the back in black felt marker. Shouldn't be too hard to get that off. All we're going to need is a bottle of Windex, of course, and a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Now these you can find at pretty much any drugstore or Walmart or anything like that. They're pretty easy to find and they work really well so it's always good to have a couple of these kicking around. So all we're going to do is take a bit of the Windex and we are going to put it on our Magic Eraser and then we're just going to rub this over the affected area and it should come right off no problem at all so we'll just uh, we'll just rub that on there a bit now it may take uh, it may take a bit of uh, a bit of work to get it off you don't want to scrub too hard because you don't want to damage the cart but if you just slowly go at it and just kind of rub nice and softly and just continually rub in kind of a circular motion it should uh, it should come off fairly nicely there shouldn't be any any problems or anything like that so we just keep rubbing and uh, as you can see it's pretty much all right off there so that's pretty much all it takes now as you're going through your collection and you're cleaning off all the marker off all of your carts you will find that Windex doesn't work on every cart and it's kind of unfortunate uh, that there isn't just one product that will take marker off of every single cart at least I haven't run into one if you guys have run into that product please let me know what it is I'd love to know um, but up until this point I haven't been able to find a product that works every time so if you do find some carts where the marker just won't come off with Windex you'll have to look at some alternate cleaning materials uh, I've used OxyClean the facial scrub that works uh, sometimes I've also used a headlight like a plastic headlight cleaner for cars which I find works quite well as well and you can use of course you know toothpaste and stuff like that I don't suggest that because I think it's worked once for me and it's just more work than it's worth so I don't suggest using toothpaste but some people say it works so you know give it a try now if nothing is working and you're you know you've tried a bunch of stuff and nothing's working you can substitute the Windex for a bit of rubbing alcohol and you use it the same way you put rubbing alcohol on your magic eraser and you just rub lightly over your marker area however if you are going to use rubbing alcohol be very careful with it because it doesn't take long before the alcohol starts to eat away at the plastic and it will leave kind of a ugly nasty rub mark there which is just not cool so if you're going to use rubbing alcohol be sure that you rub very lightly and not for a long period of time uh, you want to just rub light and short and if it's not coming off then don't you know don't worry about it and of course there probably will be one or two carts that you run into where the marker just simply won't come off and if that's the case you might want to experiment a bit you know try a few different cleaning products a few different things um, if you do find something that works really well on absolutely everything like I said let me know I'd love to hear I'd love to hear what you guys are using and other than that I think that's about it so I hope this helps and I'll have another video up in a while